everybody so on this video I am going to go through a list of what you need for twins I remember when we first found out that we were having twins I was completely overwhelmed with the baby registry because I was like oh my god we need two of everything and I didn't have very many people to ask I didn't know anyone else that really had twins so I was overwhelmed and I didn't know what I needed two of so I remember looking at a bunch of youtubers and reading a bunch of blogs and everything trying to decide what we need two of and I hope this video kind of helps you put that baby registry together and by all means do take what you wish from this video this is what worked best for our family and for our living situations uh, everyone's gonna do a little everyone's gonna have it a little different than ours of course so I just hope this kind of helps you a little bit my theory was is to get one thing that we probably could get away with just one and see how it is and if we did need to get a second one we would so I try to organize this as best as I could in categories first one is about sleep or their room we got uh, two cribs and two crib mattresses of course but we didn't have the baby sleep in the cribs right away not until about four months old so the first four months we had one bassinet in our room and then we had a pack and play that had the infant setting i know not all, everyone's babies like sleeping in it um, but my son liked it I was going to get two bassinets, but I wanted to just get one first and see how they did. And if we needed a second one, we were willing to go get another one. But we already had one pack and play, so we just set it up that way and we never had an issue with it. So for the first four months, we had one pack and play and one bassinet. Later on, we did get another pack and play for when we travel. Um, all of our family that we go travel to eventually just have two pack and plays at their places so that we don't have to pack them. That's one thing you'll learn. Uh, traveling with twins, with two babies in general, is a lot of work. I also have two rocking chairs. Uh, we only have two because we wanted one downstairs and we wanted one upstairs. Our house is a two-story. So you'll see a lot in my list is convenience for upstairs and downstairs. So we have two rocking chairs and it was one downstairs, one upstairs, but eventually we put both of them in the baby's room because when we were sleep training them, we would rock them to sleep first. Now, when I look at it, we probably could have gotten away with just one rocking chair. We also have two cameras, one over each of the baby's cribs. Uh, it's the Waze camera uh, w-y-z-e we got it on amazon and for like a two pack it's um fifty dollars and i will put a link of what we have for everything down below and then we also have one google speaker for a sound machine just because the google speaker can be used for many other things than just a sound machine and it works pretty well we also eventually did get a baby monitor because i wanted to have a baby monitor when we moved the babies into their crids so that i could hear them still and it was just a cheap one at Walmart. Uh, I think it was like 13 bucks. All right, next category is the food category. Uh, we did get two high chairs. I got the high chairs, I think around four months because it was easier for me to put the babies in the high chairs while I was doing the dishes and they were in the kitchen with me or while I was cooking because otherwise I didn't feel comfortable. I did not feel comfortable with them in a different room from me and they were crying all the time so this was just another way to keep them entertained and i also got like um suction toys for their high chairs uh they each had uh two monkeys because they loved the monkey the most and then they each had one different and i would alternate them so that helped having two different high chairs just to kind of so i could get some chores done and them being in the same room with me so if you do not breastfeed or if you exclusively pump uh, we found having 20 bottles was a lifesaver that way you're not doing dishes every single day you can go every other day from doing dishes 
And with that many bottles, of course, you need two dishwasher racks for the bottles. And if you are breastfeeding, uh, I used two boppies, one upstairs, one downstairs. And then as the babies got older, I would prop the babies up in the boppies to kind of help them from just laying on the floor and from me holding them. I wish I would have propped them up in the boppies and held their bottles that way. Uh, my one child didn't do so great at sitting up in it. Some women get the twin boppy, uh, and some women can tandem feed, uh, which is nursing both babies at the same time. I never could hold my babies that position so that I could nurse them at the same time. So I just felt comfortable having two different boppies, and they're pretty cheap, roughly, like if you use baby stores, used baby stores and stuff like that. Um, but that's what worked best for our family. We used the Wub Nub, which is like a, a binky pacifier attached to an animal. They each had their own special one, but my son never used a binky. And then my daughter, she used the binky for the first three months. And then she didn't have a binky at all from four till about eight months old. Sorry. She didn't use a binky for four months after that, but now she uses it just to hold the stuffed animal of her web nub, and she just chews on the binky for when she's teething. She doesn't actually suck on it. But of course, if your child does use binkies, uh, get more, of course. I only got the two web nubs uh, just because I wanted, because they were cute, and they could use them, the stuffed animals, to sleep with. And it helped my daughter when she was a newborn that I could just prop it on her chest and it was kind of like a little bit of a weight so it stayed put or I would put it off to the side because she always slept with her head to the side and it kind of helped stay put a little bit versus it coming out of her mouth all the time. And if she was going to use it a lot more and we were losing minkies and stuff like that, then of course I would have gotten more. I had one binky in her bassinet all the time and then one downstairs in her swing. So I didn't have to think about losing a binky from the travel. <laughs> and of course, one last thing with the feeding is you'll need lots of burp rags with two of them. We still use all of our burp rags all the time for different uses. Uh, we used to lay it underneath their head, kind of like a pillow. Um, in their bassinets and pack and play for when they would spit up all the time and that helped a lot but definitely get a lot of burp rags. On to the bath. So I used one bathtub in our kitchen sink for the longest time or it felt like the longest time and I would bathe one baby at a time. I got quite the routine because I usually did it during the day on my own. Um, so I just do one baby at a time until about four months, then it was easier for me to get a, a second bathtub. And upstairs we only have a shower, we don't have like a built-in tub. So I would uh, fit both of their um, bathtubs in there and then I could bathe them at the same time. And that was a lot easier for me to do it that way. We got away with one bathtub for a couple of months and then eventually we did get two of them uh, just because of our shower. You may still just do it one at a time or you may look into the seats in the bathtub. I almost did get the seats for the big bathtub, but they started to do really well sitting up on their own. And it was just, they kind of learn it overnight real quick. And we never ended up getting the seats in the bathtubs. And of course, lots of bath rags uh, with two babies. And if you start bathing them every night before bedtime, like a bedtime routine, you go through a lot of bath rags. And I kind of used those rags also to clean their faces when they started eating uh, purees and solids. It was just easier to clean them off with a bath rag. All right, in our living room, the swings. So we just got one swing and I also had two rock and plays, uh, but my son never did like the rock and play. He was happier in the swing. And then my daughter liked her rock and play. So we used her in a rocking play for about four months 
And then we found she was going through a really, uh, like a sleep regression for naps and stuff. So we started putting her in the swing and we noticed she was falling asleep better in the swing. So we then uh, got a second swing. And also I think it was around four months when she started to learn to roll over. So uh, when she wouldn't lay still in the rock and play, that's when we started to graduate her out of the rock and play and put her into a swing. So they both were in swings until right around the end of seven months old. And then um, I have started to officially have them sleep in their cribs for naps instead of in the living room. All right, uh, changing tables. So we had one changing table. Okay, everyone thinks you're gonna have a changing table in the baby's room. It just looks prettier that way, but in our case, it doesn't work. Even though their baby, the, the room is right next to ours, it didn't work. So I had a changing pad on top of my long dresser, and then I had a basket thing uh, that had different category, different sections, that I had the diapers, a spot for the wipes, all the butt creams, medical uh, nose suckers, all of that was in this thing. So that was in our room and it just moved from our room into the baby's room at nine months because anytime one of my babies would wake up in the middle of the night, it was easier for me to change them in our room than it is in their room where they could possibly wake up the other baby. And we also got a second changing table in our living room. Uh, it's big, but it holds so much stuff of the baby stuff. Our house is pretty small, and if something can give me a lot of storage, I'm all for it. So I have a changing table now in the baby's room and another one in our living room because it was a lot easier instead of having to carry one baby all the way upstairs to change them and leave one downstairs by themselves. I did not feel comfortable with that. Um, you could just have a changing pad, like a portable one you could take uh, when you travel and stuff like that and just kept that downstairs but I just liked having the changing table in the living room and we don't really have guests and company over here and you know what they're not taking care of twins so it's easier for me that's what we're sticking with and we're probably going to have this changing table in the living room for a while I mean for a couple years because it's that helpful and of course two changing tables means two diaper genies um, I thought they were all the same size, but the one we have upstairs is a little smaller. And the one we have downstairs, thank goodness, because that's the one we use the most, is a little bit bigger. And it does help a lot. It's with the smell and everything, I can't imagine just having to open uh, garbage for diapers. Uh, so we have two changing tables, two changing pad things for the changing table, and get lots of diaper changing pad covers. I only have three and those, that isn't fast enough to keep up with sometimes. Um, what else do we have? We have two wipe containers. Like I got the big plastic ones. One is for each diaper changing table because when you go and buy a box of wipes, it's just in little um, wrappers. They're not in plastic containers and I didn't realize that. So we only have two of the hardy plastic ones that I constantly refill with. So at my diaper changing table downstairs in the living room, I have a, a drawer for all their medical kind of stuff, like health. Um, it's got like their boogie wipes. And I also each have their own nose sucker because when they're sick, even though eventually they both get sick, they each have their own nose sucker. I also have two thermometers. I have one for oral use and one for rectum use. But, because believe it or not, rectum use temperature is far better than oral or the armpit for finding out their temperature. All right, play things, items. We had one play mat thing, and I'll show a picture of it. It's like the flat play mat with the little bars that has toys hanging around. We kept that in the living room, and they used that for months even when they were sitting up i would have them sit up to it so i think until about seven months old they were using it for that long 
We did eventually get a second one only because we forgot to pack it and where we were visiting the babies had nothing to enter, really entertain them so we went and bought another one. And then when we came back home it just kind of became one upstairs, one downstairs. Uh, we have one jumper. Those things take up a lot of space and we have a small living room. <laughs> I was almost going to get two but it just turns out that it's better to alternate them so that they don't get tired of one thing and it kind of makes it a little special when they get to go and play. So I would let one jump in the jumper for a while while the other one is playing on the floor with the play mat and then I would alternate them. And that way you're not having two things eating up your living room, especially if you already have two swings or one swing and a jumper, it takes up a lot of your room. Toys. I only got two of the same toy. I might have gotten like a different color. Only if both of them seemed to really, really like this one particular toy and um, they both wanted to play it. Granted, with twins, they have to learn to share. It's just inevitable because there's only one you and two of them. They have to learn to take turns. All right, last category, car seats. <laughs> uh, you'll definitely need two car seats and the bases. I'd recommend the ones that have the bases just because it's so much easier to lock them, especially with two of them. Uh, I had to go to doctor's appointments on my own, so I would have the car parked up close to the front of the house, and I'd have to haul one baby at a time to the car as quickly as possible. Uh, there was a few times where I had to carry both car seats, and that is a lot of work. <laughs> so if you get the ones with the bases, that will make things a lot easier. We did do four bases. Um, it just depends with your family if you use uh, two cars all the time, your husband's car, your car. If it's just easier uh, for each car to have their own car seat bases, um, they are pretty pricey just depending on the uh, brand you get. But it was a lot of a, it was a lifesaver for us. And the babies are now 10 months old and we just got their next stage car seats today. Um, our kids are pretty short and well they kind of weigh a lot so we were able to, for them to use their infant car seats for a while we were definitely gonna get them by the time they turned one um, but there was a sale going on and as you will find out having to buy two car seats you're gonna want to look for the sales um, so we got their two car seats and these car seats should work for them for the rest of the time that they need car seats. Uh, with our car seats, we also got the two mirrors. Um, we got four mirrors actually for each vehicle. Strollers. So we did get the long stroller because I could put both babies' uh, car seats, the infant car seat carriers in them. And that was so easy for me to be able to go to places on my own. Um, because I had to go to doctor's appointments or if I went to mom's groups or anything like that and I'd be on my own having the long stroller and then where I could um, just buckle them in quickly with the car seats. We did get the side-by-side -side stroller is what we call it. It's the ones that are set next to each other and it fits through um, the average door frame and we got that at eight months old um, just because uh, it made shopping a lot easier and by then the babies it was like summertime and it was easier and they were sitting up on their own and so it was just easier to quickly unfold that and uh, get the babies in there and it makes going through aisles and things a lot easier. The long one is okay too but it does take up a lot of room in your vehicle first of all. I did have to get a new vehicle. I had to get a minivan. I didn't want one, but it has so much room. So we did have to get a bigger vehicle for the big stroller to fit. And you do need the big stroller. In our family, we did need the big stroller for me to be able to go to places on my own, shopping on my own with two infant car seats. And that so far is everything that we've had to get two or one of with our twins. Of course, 
this is what worked best for our family with our living situation. Yours may be very different. You may want more of two of everything. You may not. Completely up to you, of course. I just hope that this video helped a little bit with you deciding what to try, what you definitely do need, what you don't need, and hope it helps. You guys have a great day. Bye.